Well, here we are back at Rocket Industries once again, so let's go inside and take a look around. Now, when it comes to making horsepower out of your engine, it's all about a package, about matching the right componentry to make the power level that you actually desire. And cylinder heads are a very important part of that package. Basically, the air and fuel mixture enter through the inlet ports, the valves open, the mixture is then burnt within that cylinder after it's ignited by the spark plug, and then those spent gases exhaust themselves out the exhaust port. So the better the cylinder head can flow in and out, the better your power production is going to be. Another very important factor too is combustion chamber design. Getting that flame travel, that flame front across the top of the piston to burn efficiently. And as far across the top of that piston, exerting all of that heat energy pressure down on it, the better it's going to be also. Now an interesting thing I'd found over the years was you could always tell an efficient combustion chamber when you had to use less ignition timing to make the same amount of power. You knew it was working well. Now when it comes to cylinder head design, it's not just flow capacity that matters. It's the durability of the cylinder head that matters too. Like stainless steel valves, a severe duty race style valve that can cop a lot of punishment and a lot of hammering over time at high RPM. Also, valve springs and retainers, that's super important. With a bigger camshaft, you must have very good valve control. If you've got valve springs that aren't up to the task and don't allow that valve to close fully at high RPM, you'll get what you call valve float. The engine will misfire, you'll damage the seat, and over time, the engine may be damaged. Now, many people ask the difference between cast iron and aluminium cylinder heads. Well, hands down, my choice is definitely aluminium. Number one, because they're a lot lighter, that pulls weight off the front of the car and also pulls weight off the complete mass of the vehicle. The other thing is too that from my experience, I've found that engines can usually handle more compression with an aluminium cylinder head. You haven't quite got that heat retention in the cylinder head like that good old cast head holding that heat and pre-igniting fuel before it's supposed to be.